you would allow your eyes to close. And if that's not comfortable, have a soft gaze down on the floor toward the front of your mat. Start to take a few breaths in and out. Can you embrace the idea that this is time for you? For you to let go? For you to explore? For you to heal? And for you to be present to whatever comes up? and arrives, keeping in mind that there is nothing you have to do about any of it. Allowing yourself to be here. Let the shoulders start to drop down away from your ears. And feel your spine begin to lengthen. reaching upward from the pelvis through the crown of the head. Soften the jaw, back of the neck is long, chin parallel to, to the floor. Check in. How might you need to take care of yourself during practice? Start to pay attention to your breath. Letting go of any constriction in the throat. Releasing any tension or tightness that you may feel anywhere in your body. And bringing your awareness to your navel and starting to breathe deep into the lower belly behind the navel so that the lower belly expands as you inhale. As you exhale, draw the navel in toward your spine. And just stay with the lower belly space here for a few moments. Continuing to breathe into the lower belly. Invite the breath up through your ribs. Feeling the ribs expand out to the front of the room and to the side of the room. As you exhale, the ribs knit back in toward one another. Navel draws in, moving the diaphragm back into place. Inhale, expanding lower belly, side ribs into the chest area. Exhaling, releasing. Eventually growing your breath, lower belly, side ribs, all the way toward your collarbones, out along the shoulders, front, sides, and back of your body. Full yogic breathing, Dirga Pranayama. Full breath in and full breath out. Letting go of Ujjayi if you can, releasing tension in the throat. Each breath a little deeper than the last. Expanding and contracting. The next time that you inhale, notice a slight pause at the top of the inhalation before your exhalation. It's not a holding of the breath, but just a moment. And then allowing the exhale to happen. Breathing in, feeling the pause, breathing out. If you can, breathing in and out through the nose, spine tall. And 
The next time you exhale, can you find a pause after the exhalation before your inhalation? Just a moment where nothing is happening. And then allowing the inhale to happen as it will. Never holding the breath, just pausing. Inhale, pause. Exhale, pause. The pause might grow. This is called Sandhi Pranayama, or the pause breath. There's a natural space between your inhale and exhale, and exhale and inhale. Never rushing to take a breath in or take a breath out. Never holding the breath. Just pausing. Just a few more breaths like this. And letting yourself return to a natural breath, just noticing any shift or change from just a few moments ago. And bringing your awareness now to your ribs, thoracic spine, shift your ribs a little to the right, forward, over to the left, and back behind you. Small movement through the thoracic area of the spine. Let it be your own. Let your shoulders relax. Finding a pace that works for you to move into all the little parts of your ribs, of your vertebra. And just circling. And notice if there's an invitation from the body to go bigger, can you ignore it for just a few moments, working into this space, taking this time for yourself, and then allowing yourself to pause and go in the opposite direction. What does it feel like to just move this area of your body? Is it filled with ease or a struggle? Is there a desire to do more? And if there is, can you do less? And then bring yourself back to stillness. And take a breath in, noticing sensation in this area of the body. And exhale through the mouth, let go. If you can, keeping the eyes closed, but any time that you feel you need to open the eyes, feel free to do so. Lean back across your sitting bones, carefully unwind your legs, taking them out in front of you. If you're up high on a bolster, you may want to lower the buttocks to the floor or come up on a blanket. Roll your feet around in a few circles, noticing the movement at the ankle joints, around the toes, and then going in the opposite direction. Bring the feet to stillness, press out through the heels, toes reaching toward the sky, sitting tall. Release your arms out at your sides, and on an inhalation, raise the arms up to shoulder height, turn the palms, and then bring them all the way up overhead, just as far as is comfortable for you. As you exhale, release the arms down, turn the palms at the shoulder all the way to the earth, and just move through a few rounds of sun breath. Inhale, opening, lifting. Exhale, releasing down.
beginning to open and pay attention to your shoulders, your chest, your upper back. The next time that you've inhaled and reach the arms up overhead, just release the right arm down toward the floor, tip over with the left arm, pressing the left hip away from you, still reaching out through the heels, soft through the toes. And then inhale, come all the way up, and as you exhale, float over to the other side. And then let yourself go side to side, creating lateral flexion and extension in the side body. Next time that you're coming up through center, float both arms up, thread the fingers together, and as you exhale, draw the tailbone down, round the spine to the back of the room, release the hands down, palms facing in, and then turn the palms away, inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the arms, open the chest, open the front of the throat, and then exhale, turning the palms in, roll back. You do this a few times, opening up through the spine, Next time that you inhale and the arms are up overhead, turn the palms down toward your head. Separate the hands, release the left hand to your thigh, right hand comes back behind you, twist gently over toward the right. The eye gaze stays at the side wall. Let the shoulders relax down and away from the ears. Press lightly out through your heels. On an inhalation, raise the arms up toward the sky, and as you exhale, unwind to the other side. Good. Sitting tall in the spine, rotating through the middle ribs that you just were circling. And then on your inhalation, sweep both arms up. As you exhale, release the arms down toward the earth. Slide the soles of the feet together bringing them in toward the pelvis. With your hands on your knees, start to make bigger circles of your upper body around your lower body. Keep the navel drawn in slightly and let go of your head, neck, and shoulders. Working into the hips, the adductors, And then let yourself pause and go the other way. And just noticing what does this side feel like? And the next time that you're down by your feet, slide your hands to your feet and start to rock side to side. Massaging across the buttocks. If you're up on a blanket, you may want to slide off of the blanket. The next time you're over on that right sitting bone, stay there. Slide your hands to your shins and open across your collarbones. Let the left knee float toward the earth. Let it open, not holding. Back of the neck long, chin drawing slightly down. And then let yourself rock a little side to side. The next time that you're over on that left side, stay there. Relax the right knee away from you. Soften, lift your sternum, reach to the crown of your head. Jaws relax. Feeling the balance here, the holding, and then rock again side to side. And coming back to center as you exhale, round the spine to the back of the room once more, sliding the hands to the knees if that's more comfortable, and then inhale and find your cow, 
opening the front of the throat as you pull the shoulder blades back, and then exhale and round. Inhale, bringing yourself up to neutral. Slide your hands behind your knees. Bring the knees up towards center. Wrap your arms around your knees, dropping your chin in toward your throat, rounding or flexing the spine. And on your inhalation, slowly lift the head. As you exhale, find a comfortable seat. And we'll prepare for our first restorative posture today, which will be Matsyasana, or the fish pose. And if you could find your blanket. And I think that they're all folded a little differently, but if you could get it to a half fold to start, where the tassels are toward one another. Once you've got the tassels there, if you could go short side to short side. So then your blanket will be about this dimension. And then you're going to just fold it in half, long side to long side. Place that blanket at the back third of your mat. your body over that blanket so that it is from your the base of your shoulder blades, your scapula, just to the top and the back of your shoulders. So touch the back of your shoulders for a second. The very back of your shoulder is going to be on the floor on the other side of the blanket. To get into the posture, you'll sit down on your sitting bones, bring your feet to the floor. You may need to adjust as you go into the posture. Fingertips on the floor, lift your sternum up so your spine is really long. Take a breath in, and then as you exhale, start to lower yourself down, drawing your tailbone under, and bringing yourself across the blanket, back of the shoulders to the mat. The arms can come down at your side in an A-like position, or you can put them out at your side in T or even into goalpost or cactus arms. Check in with your lower back. Make sure that it feels okay. You can keep the knees bent. Or if you'd like to straighten the legs, you can release the legs one at a time. Back of the neck stays long. So we're keeping the ribs in toward the body and they're not flaring out. The shoulders are open, back of the neck is long. The knees can stay bent. And if you want a little more rest for your sacrum, if your knees are bent, walk your feet out wide and then teeping your knees in. For just a few moments, bring your hands to your belly and place your right palm on your left palm. Palms are facing toward your chest, coming into Hridaya Mudra, or the Fierce Mudra. Almost as if you were holding your belly, and if you're not sure, you can look up here. So the right hand is inside of the left, like you were cradling your belly. Shoulders relaxed. As you hold this hand position, consider giving yourself this time as if you were holding yourself. A 
allowing the breath to flow freely. Next exhalation, release the hands to a position that's comfortable for your arms, continuing to let go. Start to pay attention to your breath again. And let the breath be the invitation to come back into your body. Staying quiet, but aware. Fill the belly with breath. Each breath a little deeper than the last. Begin to move your fingers and toes. And slowly turn your head to the left and the right. Just a small movement. It doesn't have to be really big. If your knees aren't already bent, take a moment and one at a time, bend one knee and then the other. You may want here to first just do a little bit of pressing your lower back down to the floor, keeping in mind that you're in this back bend. Just do a little pelvic rocking. As you exhale, press the lower back toward the floor. As you inhale, finding the small movement away, but keep it very small, very subtle. And then when you're ready, bring one knee in toward the chest and then the other, hugging the knees in. If staying on the blanket feels like too much, you can roll over and slide the blanket out. Otherwise, just staying here for a moment, allowing yourself to rock a little side to side. Keeping the back of the neck long. And then bringing both hands around the right knee, extend the left leg toward the front of the room, just pulling the knee in as you press the leg, the left leg away. And then switching legs.
returning the right knee in toward the chest and letting yourself roll over to your side in fetal position, supporting your head with your arm. And again, if it feels funny being on the blanket, you can slide the blanket out. Just taking a breath into the back side of your body here, feeling the flexion in your spine after being in extension. Continuing to keep the eyes closed or feel free to open them at any time. Use your top hand to press down into the floor and as if you were draping yourself over a chair, press yourself all the way up through sitting and into table position, facing the front of the room. As you exhale, draw your tailbone toward the earth, round the spine, chin in toward your throat. And as you inhale, lift your tailbone, pull your ribs forward, and open the front of your throat. Do a few rounds of cat and cow here, just releasing the spine. Relax the throat, relax the breath. And the next time you exhale, bring yourself into a neutral spine and begin to circle your hips, pressing them out to one side forward to the other side and back behind you. They can be big circles or small circles. Release your head, neck, and shoulders. Allow yourself to pause and go in the opposite direction. time that you're coming towards the front of the room, find your table position again. Slide your thumbs in toward one another as if you were making a tripod between your knees and your hands. And inhale your right arm up toward the sky. As you exhale, thread the needle, diving over to the left side of the room, resting down on the right shoulder and the right ear. Relax your left elbow toward the floor, softening the body, feeling the rotation in the spine. Feeling your breath in the ribs, weight in the back of your body. And bringing that left hand back towards your face, abdominal wall draws in, press the palm into the floor to unwind, coming back to center. Taking a moment here, and then when you're ready, inhale the left arm out to the side and up. As you exhale, dive through and over to the other side, resting on the left shoulder, the left ear. If you can't quite get the head to the floor, place a block underneath your head. The chin draws in just a little bit toward the throat to lengthen through the back side of the neck. Noticing the breath in your left ribs here and your right ribs. Let the shoulders be heavy. Weight moving into the back of the body. Sliding your right hand toward your face, press down into the palm as you inhale and unwind. And this time exhale, rounding the spine, coming into cat. As you inhale, coming back to neutral, sliding your feet over to the left, lowering down onto your buttocks and taking your legs out in front of you. Take a moment to find your bolster and your blanket. <coughs> Bring your short side of your bolster right up tight to the right hip. You may need to stagger yourselves on your mats. And then take the blanket that you just had underneath you, and you can leave it in that same fold and place it at that very back edge or the very right edge of your bolster. And if your bolster has a zipper, you put the zipper side down. 
from here, lift your spine tall, lift up through your sternum, slide your feet over to the left side of the room, and you can either bring your right foot to the top of your left thigh, or your right foot can hook underneath your left leg. And then wherever you are, hold the bolster close, sit up tall, and then bring your hands to either side of the bolster as you start to rotate toward the right. Stay really tall in your spine, take a deep breath in, as you exhale, draw your navel in and start to lower yourself down onto the bolster. Pull the blanket up toward your chest. Turn your head to face the front of the room. Coming into Dara Karshanasana or revolved abdominal twist. Let the shoulders relax. You can slide the hands underneath the blanket if that would be comfortable for you with the palms up. If you prefer to have your head down, you can fold the blanket once and let your forehead rest on the blanket. Good. Keeping the head turned toward the front of the room. Shoulders relaxed. Take three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, letting go. After the third breath, completely release. comfortable for you as you breathe out, say silently to yourself the sound OM, the sound of unity and wholeness. to notice the breath in your body. Notice 
notice any part of the body that is rising and falling with the breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up and then open your mouth and let the breath go. Take a moment to become aware of your left ear. And imagine that there is just an easy piece of paper or light cardboard right above your ear. And I'd like you to lift your ear into the cardboard so that you're lifting your head straight up first and then turning to look down toward your bolster. And then pressing into your palms, draw your navel in and press yourself all the way up with a long spine and then rotate back toward your knees, bringing your left hand to your ankle and slide your knee up towards center and bring the other knee out. Bring the hands behind you and lift your spine. As you exhale, walk your feet out a little wider and let your knees go side to side. back up to center, walk the feet forward a step, and then bring your hands to your knees as you exhale, round your spine into a cat position. As you inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the ribs, open the front of the throat, and then exhale and round. Inhale, coming up. And then this time as you exhale, just come back to a neutral spine. Make sure you feel secure and safe. Take the blanket off of your bolster. Lift the bolster and bring it to the other side of the body. And you might want to just turn sideways when you're not long. And then taking your blanket again over the back edge of the bolster, sliding your feet over to the right. Again, finding that foot position that feels best for you. Good. Pulling the bolster close to your hip sitting up really tall and then rotating toward the bolster with that tall spine. As you exhale, start to lower yourself down, bringing that left ear to the blanket. Or folding the blanket and letting your forehead rest on the blanket. The hands can slide underneath the blanket, palms up or palms down. You can also play with taking your left arm down and back behind you if that would feel better. Letting the body settle in on this side, noticing any difference between the right and left side of your body. Turning to the mantra, breathing in as you breathe out, saying silently to yourself, Om.
once more to feel the breath in your body. Taking note of any feelings or sensations that you may be experiencing or noticing. Gradually start to grow the breath. When you're ready, lifting the head first straight up and then turning, bringing the forehead or the face toward the blanket. Placing your hands on the floor, engaging the abdominal wall, staying long as you reach forward and then lift yourself all the way up. Unwinding, sliding your right hand to your ankle and pulling that leg forward, followed by the left leg. Inhale, both arms up toward the sky, slowly bend the knees, heels to the floor and exhale, fold over your legs. As you inhale, slide your hands up your legs and toward the sky. Exhaling, folding forward. As this becomes comfortable, feel free to straighten the legs. The next time that you're rounding forward, see if you can just hold there, releasing, breathing. Let this posture of Paschimottanasana be what you need it to be right now, to let go, and to release that twisting of the spine. With your next inhalation, draw the navel in, walk yourself all the way up, slide your hands behind you, fingers pointing away or toward the buttocks, and slide the feet to the floor. As you exhale, press the feet into the earth as you lift the hips toward the sky. And then inhale, slowly lower the buttocks to the floor. Exhale, pressing up. Inhale, releasing down. This time, lifting and holding for just a few breaths or continue to lift and lower your choice. The chin can drop in toward the chest or retract the head and then let it fold back. Pressing into your feet as you next exhale, slowly lower the hips all the way to the earth. Bring your feet to a cross-legged position, hands coming forward, and just roll your hands around your wrists a few times. And then go in the opposite direction. And then release the hands. Find your blanket and open it up. And work with these. Open it all the way up. So that it looks like this. Bolsters for two bolsters each. Yeah, so if we could all just if you could go grab another bolster, I think that would be better than you may take place one of your bolsters at the back edge of your mat. Place your block the front edge of your mat, short side toward the short side. You may want this blanket underneath your head at the back of your mat. You may or may not need that. So we'll see when you get there. We'll be coming into Supta Tadasana. And find your strap. Take your strap, make a loop with it. If you're not familiar with the D rings, this tail end goes through both rings, over the first ring, under the second ring, and that then will allow you to tighten with the strap knot going in. 
we're placing this around your legs. So open it up enough that you could get it over your legs. And then place that just to the side of your Once you've got your loop, you're going to come sit on the very edge of the bolster that you put toward the back of your mat. Take your other bolster and slide it under where your knees might be. And then pull your blocks forward just a little toward you. These are going to go underneath your feet. And then take your strap, place it over your legs. We'll be using the strap to keep the legs in a more neutral position, also to help create what's called a still point or a quiet place in the body, in the energetic body. As you tighten your strap, take it so that it's just about a third of the way down from your knees. So if you were to divide your thigh into thirds, place the strap a third below your knees or towards your pelvis. And then from here, your hands will come to the floor, lift your sternum up. Draw your tailbone under just a little bit. You might need to slide down a little depending on how long your torso is so that you can release yourself down onto the bolster. This is where the blanket may come in handy. And then your heels will come up onto your blocks. You may find that you have to slide your bolster down a little bit underneath your knees. with your block placements. And if you need a bolster moved, I will help with your bolster moving too. I don't think I want to move. Or do we run out of bolsters? Is that okay? When you're here, let your arms release out. Turn the palms up if that's comfortable for you. Chin drop slightly in toward the chest. Start to release from the soles of your feet, up through the legs, toward the chest, out through the arms, to the crown of the head. Just let go. Yoga breath again, full yogic breathing, lower belly, middle belly, upper chest. Releasing top to bottom.
moving into Sandhi Pranayama, that pause breath. Inhale, finding the pause. Exhale, finding the pause. yourself back into your body by following your breath. Beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes. turning the head side to side. And then be mindful of your back. We'll be coming from, going from this posture into relaxation. You may want to keep the bolster underneath your knees support of your back, but to start to release Supta Tadasana, draw the navel in, bend your knees, bringing your feet either to the bolster or the floor, and then slide your strap off of your legs, mindful of your neck, moving just in a minimal way. And then allow yourself to roll over to your favorite side, coming off of the bolster. And I'll come around and start to slide the bolsters away. Or you can press it away and then roll onto your back. 
small movement that you need to and as you come into Shavasana corpse pose preparing for relaxation come back to the idea of this being for you it's all yours to feel to be to embrace. Allowing the restorative postures now to draw in side. To be absorbed and into and become aware of your breath moving in and out of the body. And begin to notice the rise and fall of the belly and the chest. Allow your breath to deepen.
As your breath begins to deepen, draw it into your fingers and toes, creating small movement and awakening, a return to your physical self. You may want to slowly turn your head side to side or stretch in any way that feels good to your body. Eventually bend your knees and roll to your favorite side to lie in fetal position. Hold yourself here. Affirm your ability to let go. To take time for yourself. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale softly through the mouth. Keeping the eyes closed, press down into your top hand to draw yourself up to a comfortable seated position using any support that you might need. Once you're settled, lengthen from pelvis to crown. Lengthening through the back side of the neck, shoulders relaxing down and away from your ears. Taking in these words this evening, it is time for me to see the flaws of myself and stop being alarmed. It is time for me to halt my drive for perfection and to accept my blemishes. It is time for me to receive slowly evolving growth, the kind that comes from it in its own good time and pays no heed to my panicky pushing. It is time for me to embrace my humanness, to love my incompleteness. It is time for me to cherish the unwanted, to welcome the unknown, and to treasure the unfulfilled. If I wait to be perfect before I love myself, I will always be unsatisfied and ungrateful. If I wait until all the flaws, chips, and cracks disappear, I will be the cup that stands on the shelf and is never used. It's time for me to be. Take a deep breath in. Exhale with a sigh. bringing your hands to your heart in Anjali Mudra and bowing your head to your heart and to the light that resides there. Hadi Om. Peace, peace, peace. May there be peace within each one of you. May there be peace on this journey that is your life. And may you know that you are exactly where you are meant to be at this moment. The light in me sees the light in each of you. In the Pranakriya tradition, we close our classes saying, Jai Bhagwan which means may your yoga and your life be victorious. Saying that together, Jai, jai Bhagwan. And then turning to one another to offer Jai as a way of saying thanks for practicing. Jai, jai.